What's up? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Hype Talk. Like always, we got Big Boy Johnny. Hey, yo. We got Tan Sang, aka Pretty Rico. What up, y'all? We got Sky Pilot the dog. And today, we're going to be talking frugal fashion tips on how to look fly without breaking the bank. Y'all ready? Let's, Let's go. go. What do you guys think, man? Man, for me growing up, I always thought you had to spend a lot of money to look fly, but as a recent, I feel like you don't really got to. All right, so with that being said, yep. I mean, what are some factors that you guys think of when buying clothes now? For me, I was always on limited budget. So I always made sure if this is something I really, really wanted, and if I'm gonna have enough money to pay for gas for my car afterwards. <laughs> That's, that's, that's just keeping it really real. And I remember you telling me a story Whoa, about that story's his mom gave me a hundred dollars. She used to give me like a hundred dollars to buy school clothes and then drop me off at the mall because she wasn't trying to, you know, shop with me all day. <laughs> she told me to get, you know, like four pairs of uh, jeans, you know, like five t-shirts and like, I was like, what? I came in back with just one fly Jordan jumpsuit, you know? And, so and he I'm, also got this. <laughs> I feel like I had to have like the best jeans, the best mm -hmm. belt, the best white tee. Yeah. But now it's like you can have the five dollar white yeah. tee, the really cheap cloth yeah. belt, yeah. and then you maybe have a supreme hat. What's crazy? Hack, you what's know crazy? What I mean? like, yeah. Most of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe is like less than ten dollars. You know, you wear all the cheap stuff that look good, uh -huh. and then you throw on that expensive hat. hat. Yeah. Man, that's crazy that you guys mentioned that because for me, what I look into is when I buy this piece and if it's more than out of my budget, I say, okay, am I gonna wear this once with one outfit, or can mm -hmm. I actually mix and match this yep. um, piece. Before, I would just buy this one shirt that just matches this particular pair of shoes, yeah. uh -huh. and I would literally just have to wear that outfit over yeah. and over again. That ain't sure. fly, you know what I mean? I know I have a hard time finding cheap pants. Mm -hmm. So where do you guys typically find cheap pants? Man, you gotta go to H&M, man. They have different cuts, mm -hmm. different washes. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, you wanna go with that route, especially trying to save money, because you know, the nudies and all that, they look good and everything, but I don't know, man. I don't know if I wanna spend 180 on a pair of jeans. It's, it's crazy that you say that too, because it's a big dude, we run through our pants pretty often. <laughs> so like, I'm happy H&M actually. You mean like, you mean like, what do you mean run through? Like, like run in them and, and run Y'all know through. I ain't running, first of all. <laughs> But when I'm talking about running through these pants, like they just wear, they wear and tear. Of course, you got your H&Ms yep. and your Forever 21s. Uh huh. You got uh, Cotton On. You got Uniqlo. Uh, you Killian. got Killian's a good yeah. one. These are all brands that are gonna allow you to just save a lot of money when it comes to these pieces. You do not gotta spend a lot of money on. I feel like a good one for the kids, especially when it came to joggers. I always uh, recommended this was uh, Cotton On. Okay. Not every state has Cotton On. They're based out of Australia, I think, but they do have some locations in the U.S. They have hoodies for mm -hmm. cheap. They got a bunch of like essential basic tees. I mean, overall, like, do you really need a full tech fleece outfit? No, I don't need this. Like, this is engineered for the top athlete of the freaking world and like doing sprints at, you know, 5.9 seconds. Like, I mean, I don't know, man. Richard, this really isn't the video for you, man, I feel like. You know, I'm, I'm still working on it. I'm still picking and choosing. But what I like about these, uh, these brands and these stores is they do offer that fashionable mm -hmm. cut. Do you guys feel like they offer quality? H&M? H&M, Condon, Forever 21. I would say to an extent they offer yep. quality, but as far as like the reason why their overhead and everything is cheaper for us to purchase is because the quality is not the mm -hmm. same as, That's you know, true. maybe, um, John Elliott yeah. hoodie it's, or it's, something I like mean, that. I mean, but at the same time, you're buying something that is so trendy from these spots. How long do you need it to last? You know what I mean? All right, guys, that was fun. But my favorite part is talking about the shoes, man. We're all big shoe guys here, <laughs> but we always have those go-to shoes that we tend to stick with. For me, I must have to go with Vans, man. Mm -hmm. Overall, just Vans in general, I feel like uh, the skate highs and the authentics. Yeah, man, I always like skate highs. To go with like the, the timeless piece, um, I personally like Chucks. Like, mm -hmm. I'm flat-footed, so for me, it's cheap. Even spending a little bit more money, you can get the new chucks that yeah. have the lunar cushioning at the bottom. Yes. Those are really good for the bigger the dudes all-star well. twos, yep. For me, wow. growing up, you know, I always bought Jordan ones and like the expensive Jordans, but it didn't really count as buying something expensive because I was just gonna flip them for like maybe $20 under or maybe $20 over what I got them for. So if you're gonna spend a lot of money on something, it's make sure investment. it has resale value. Yeah. I know a lot of kids like the Roshis. Roshis so, are hot. Yo, those last a long time and they're pretty comfortable. Yeah. They stay pretty clean, actually. You know, another good shoe I feel like kind of stuck and it's a uh, big price for a while is uh, Adidas shell toes. Yeah. Mm, those are kind of making like big, a little comeback too. I feel like Big Sean and I feel like the whole, you know, camp over at Adidas is bringing those, so that model so back. You, Let's talk about shopping. I mean, where are you guys, as far as like codes, pr promo codes yeah. and rep codes and stuff <laughs> like that, that's a big deal, man. Yo, when I was younger, man, I used to be like, yo, use my rep code, come on. Give me <laughs> for for Karma Loop. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Karma Loop has off. so many deals and yeah, stuff, it almost gets overwhelming when you go on their website. Like, I don't it's like, like where to start to look. Like, like, they got so much stuff on what website. I like about them is like you spend hundred dollars, you get twenty dollars off. You spend two hundred dollars, you get sixty dollars off. And one uh, <laughs> huge tip too, I, I noticed you did this the other day when you were finding a fedora that I bought oh, for yeah. full price. Yeah. You just typed in the name of the fedora 
and then you put coupon code, you know, and then you found it for like 20% off. But you know, I'm not gonna lie though, I had to do research. Yeah, and that's, very that's what I'm saying, you just gotta Google yeah. the name of the item, and the brand coupon code. What are you guys thoughts on like eBay? That's a really good tool too because yeah. uh, from what I noticed is eBay, there are boutiques out there that offer an eBay online store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, you might get free shipping, you definitely get charged no tax. So those little things kind of add up. Like I hate paying tax, mm -hmm. I hate paying for shipping. But for eBay, I feel like um, you could really find that underpriced item that you want that's still selling for retail everywhere else. But if it's too good to be true on eBay, chances are it probably is too true. good to be true. <laughs> I mean like another good tip and advice that I have for people that are watching your budget is making sure that you get more solid colors or more yeah. subtle colors mm -hmm. or maybe earth tone colors. So you don't want to get like the cheetah orange print <laughs> yeah. brochure, you want to maybe get like a gray or black is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, it's just nice and simple, but it goes with everything. Speaking of what you're saying, I know uh, David Fung, he always likes to buy the <laughs> black base shoe because he just knows he's gonna wear it like every single day. Smart. So like the- That's uh, his essential. So like the Oreo fours, he loves the Oreo fours because yeah. he's like, I call these the air indestructs because <laughs> I'm just gonna wear them every day, still be fly, but they're not gonna get that messed up. And that's just another way to that's make your money tip. stretch without tip. breaking the bank. All right guys, let's get into the takeaways when it comes to being fly without breaking the bank. There's always an alternative. Yeah. You see something you mm. like that's expensive, guess what? There's another brand out there that probably makes the same item yeah. for a lot less. If you're on the verge of buying something expensive, you need to talk to yourself a little bit. Yeah. Don't talk to yourself, talk to your wallet. You don't need it, you mm. want it. Yeah, you know, that's true. what I keep reminding myself when it comes to a lot of stuff like, you don't No, you don't. He, <laughs> he be telling me, you worked hard, you deserve that. <laughs> you deserve that. I be like, right, you so right, I deserve that. And I go home and cry. Something I used to always <laughs> tell uh, my roommates, David and Andrew, I used to, what you work hard for? What you work hard for, man? Get that. And they were like, dang, you a bad person to shop with. <laughs> At the end of the day, what we're trying to tell you guys is, if you spend and save as much as you can your essentials, you will have enough to get that grail. Mm -hmm. Or maybe even two or three grails. Yeah. And this is this how you get your money to stretch and be fly without breaking the bank. You're sure. saving it where you can. Boom. Bang. Tad out. All right, guys. Thank you for checking out that video on tips on how to be fly without breaking the bank. Let us know down in the comments below what tips you guys have for not are uh, really spending a lot of money but still being fly and that's pretty much it thank you big boy johnny thank you pretty rico and until next time we out peace, peace. all right guys thank you for checking out that video make sure you watch this video and watch this video leave down in the comments below some tips you guys have for saving some money and still being fly man to be honest i was just really excited to do a video like this man because i'm all about saving the money when it comes to being no fly. he ain't man get out of here Come man, on, man. you know i'd be like, saving man. the money man. I, okay guys at the end of the day, we're just here to give you guys advice and tips on how to look fly at the same time, not breaking the bank. We'll save that money.